All right, guys, we're here, Lowrance headquarters, Tulsa, in the R&D department. And unfortunately, a lot of people are at lunch right now, so it doesn't look that impressive, but trust me, we're in here earlier, and there's like tons of people everywhere working on new products, a lot of stuff we can't show you. It's really exciting and cool. So you'll see some stuff coming out that's pretty impressive here in the next year, two years and stuff. But wanted to go over here, this is Jeremy Schrader, and he's head of the R&D department for the Americas for the whole Navico brand, correct? Correct. So what is some of the stuff that you guys are not necessarily working on now, because I know you can't divulge on that, right. but what, what exactly are you guys doing in this location here in Tulsa? So upstairs here in Tulsa, we've got mechanical engineering department, our software engineers, project management, um, we also have our hardware team for our sonar development. And we're gonna go take a look here in a little bit down at our, our engineering lab where we actually test the products and have our sonar test tank and acoustics engineers. Um, that's a lot of what goes on up here. Um, without diving into a lot of the details, like you said. You guys are like the dreamers though, right? Like right. you take an so, idea and like napkin, like like everybody knows Eddie, my product designer, crazy scientist Eddie. So you, you have a, 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 an engineer or somebody that has an idea and they basically can yeah. transform that. Now that's from conceptual to like 3D print, working prototype, right? From software, hardware, everything that's basically done here for a lot of that stuff, correct? Right, we thrive upon innovation here. Actually right over to our side here is our legal department and we actually really push guys to be innovative and come up with ideas that we can patent and really thrive upon in the engineering world. Innovation is everything, yep. same for us. So I find it ironic that the legal department is located in your <laughs> R&D department here. We, <laughs> so, we stay pretty close with them. I could understand that. So, you know, it's really impressive to see here, guys, the number amount of people that are working on, you know, a lot of top secret stuff that you guys are coming out with. It's very impressive. And, you know, for me, as, as not only a, a consumer who uses the product, but as a retailer that, that sells the product and believes in the product, it's really cool to see what's coming down the line for, for consumers. I, I wish we could show them some of that stuff, and I understand why we can't, but just know they've got some awesome stuff coming out, guys. So we're going to go down here to the lab in a few minutes and actually show a lot of what harsh conditions you guys put a yep. lot of the new products through before the consumers even get their hands on it. It's been, you know, well-tested, well-traversed to make sure it can take the real world ability of bouncing up and down on the water, being around salt water, hot, cold, all these sort of environments and stuff like that. So exactly. I hope yep. you guys enjoy the, the lab environment here. I'm excited to see it. So let's go ahead and head down to the lab. All right, guys, just left the R&D department where you saw where we came up with some new concept stuff where Lawrence has been working on you know, new products. We're kind of the hook to series of products was kind of created or born if you will and now we're down in like the fun stuff or the stuff i like which is kind of the abuse of the products which is way way more extreme as you can see here than what you guys are going to be putting these units through on your boats and fishing and stuff but this is like a frozen chamber right here that's also an oven they coat the thing in ice or excuse me in water and then freeze it so they're not only checking for extreme heat extreme cold but also ice buildup um there's used a unit around the corner we'll show here in a little bit of actually submerging 100% in water and showing it still function. They've got a UV machine over here to see what the sunlight actually affects the plastic, the rubber, to make sure it's not going to dry out, crack, fade on you guys. And, you know, how long will some of these tests go on on this? I mean, what is composed of a test that you feel is if it's complete, if you will? Yeah, so what we have going right now today is an ice test on our Hook 2 product, and this will be in here for a couple of days coat it completely in ice and then we'll thaw it out and test it for full functionality, waterproofness, make sure everything's as it is when it left the factory. This chamber also does our extremes on the hot side as well so we run another test where we're thermal cycling from extreme heat to extreme cold without ever removing the unit and we do that for a long period of time to ensure its robustness over the life of the product. We test hook two to the same extremes that we do our top of the line products. So there's no So just no because skimping. it's a cheaper product right. doesn't mean you're gonna skimp out on it. Yeah. Okay. So we run it through the same battery of tests and harshness. It, you may not be able to answer this, but how many hours do you think goes into testing on a new product line before you say, hey, we passed it, we can go to market with it now and enter production? So we do several verification or validation builds where we run a large number of products through the same battery of tests to ensure that what's coming off the line is consistent 
for the customer. Okay. okay. Well, guys, you can see here, we've got a frozen unit here that's still working, still functioning. All the other buttons are frozen, so all I can do is basically turn the backlight up or brighter or dimmer. So we're actually going to jump over to a water tank and completely submerge a unit that's working to show the capabilities of a unit underwater actually functioning. All right, guys, so now we're over here at the water tank, which we're doing our IBS-7. IPX-7. IBS-7, or IPX-7. Yep. And I guess technically for this certification, the unit doesn't have to be powered on, right? It's just Correct. supposed to see if it's waterproof. So we've got the brand new hook. Is that a five I see in there? Is that right? I think so. Hook to five that is in there underwater, under a meter of water, I should say, and powered up and functioning. So. We just dropped it in there. Now, how long will you guys leave this in for test phase? Is there any certain point of time for you're supposed to leave it in there? The, specific, the specifications, specifications, 30 minutes at one meter depth. Okay. Normally, it can run a little bit longer just okay. to make sure of thoroughness. Sure, sure. You know, a lot of testing here, as you can see, by extreme conditions, you know, water testing, we've done extreme heat and cold, UV testing, ice testing, you know, is there any other sort of testing that you guys go above and beyond and do? Yeah, beyond that we're doing corrosion testing in our salt bog chamber okay. to simulate the salt water environment. Um, the UV chamber as you mentioned. Um, we also do rain shower tests where we're simulating a guy out in a rainstorm that's still having to fish, you know, testing for false touches on the touch screen and whatnot. And then also we'll go out and take a look at our shock harsh test where we're impacting that unit, simulating on the bow of a boat. Sure, bouncing up and down stuff, yep. awesome. You know, a big question that we've gotten is, are the units waterproof? Well, yeah, of course they are, but as you can see here, literally, here's a test of it showing how waterproof it is. And not only that, but the function, I mean, I don't know if it's on video or not, but we literally lowered this in using a push-in style power core that doesn't have any sort of lock on. So waterproof connection, lowering it down in a meter of water with a weight on the bottom, using the power cord itself and the unit is still functioning. So again, a lot of the harsh testing that Lowrance does on their products to ensure that the consumers have the best products out there that they can get. Right.